welcome back to Washington on the eve of this historic inauguration. This press past presidential election had about 9 million more voters than in 2004. We all know that Obama captured quite a following with young voters. Some young adults we spoke with credit Obama for sparking their interest in the political process, giving them hope and driving them to get involved. They call it life-changing. Eyewitness News anchor Lori Stokes sat down with them. Bayina Bragmava is getting her master's at Bank Street College. Sarah Hale Merriam is a senior at NYU. Lamont, Carolina works for Brooklyn Councilman Charles Barron. A little over a year ago, their paths came together as volunteers for the Obama campaign. Do you feel like you helped make did, this happen? I did my little part, I think so. Um, I think we all did our little parts. It's been amazing. I've never had this much responsibility um, at any other time in my life. When Obama gave a speech in Washington Square Park in 2007, Faina was there, and she knew she had to get involved. There were 24,000 people there, all ages, all different walks of life, and that's one of the things that, you know, kind of made me say, this is exactly what I want to work for, like that kind of unity that I haven't really seen up until that point. Sarah says she was turned off by politics until she heard the president-elect speak at Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan. Soon after, she packed her bags and traveled the country to get out the vote, finding hope, sometimes in the most obscure places. You have to have a lot of hope, but Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I would have, if you had told me, you know, three years ago that, you, that I would be knocking on the doors of strangers, asking them for their votes for some presidential candidate, I wouldn't have believed you. <laughs> The election of the country's soon-to-be first African-American president has given them hope for the future, his victory inspiring them to follow his lead and become public servants. I definitely could see myself running for office at some point. I definitely feel empowered right now, and so I hope to, I'm committed to going into public service in some capacity. So we haven't heard the last of any of you. As for the immediate future, these lucky three have tickets to the inauguration and inaugural balls. A campaign thank you for their hard work. They also hope while they're in Washington, they'll get to meet the man who made them want to change their lives. Lori Stokes, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. And Obama has urged more people to volunteer like uh, these young kids did. And as you see, he has asked that today of Americans on this Martin Luther King Day for Americans to participate in community service. He visited an emergency shelter for homeless teens and even rolled up his sleeves to help paint. So, hoping to spark many people in the act of service. So we're going to have much more coming up from Washington. Diana, we're going to send it back to you in the studio in New York.